I only recently did the How to Train Your Dire Horn achievement to get the Child of Torkali mount. So I thought, might as well make a video. Anyone else who hasn't got it already. It takes about two weeks. If you log on every day, of course. If you don't log on every day, it might take you longer. So start now and you'll have your mount in about two weeks. So the first thing you will need to do is the quest called the Missing Handler, which is available from the Great Seal, a character called Natal Hakata. You might have already started the quest chain and not realized that it was relating to this achievement slash mount. You might have not finished it, but there's about 16, 17 quests all together before you start on the achievement progress. It starts with the missing handler and the final quest is held for observation. So the final quest held for observation, when you've completed it, the diehorn hatchling will fall asleep. And this is where the daily quests begin. So it's, it's like time gated basically, which is fine. So there's different quests that you'll have to do each day. They can involve playing with a toy, which is really cute. You just have to throw the toy and he'll bring it back to you or he'll mess around with it for a bit and you have to go and get it. It's, yeah, it's really cute. And the other ones are you have to feed him. The NPC where you buy the food from is just up the hill from the pen where you keep the diehorn hatchling. So just run up, get the food and run back. Just make sure you buy the right food because there are three different kinds. The cheapest one is for when it's a little baby. The mid price one is for when he is growing up a little bit. And the most expensive one, of course, is when he is big. For some reason, when I was doing the quest chain, he stayed small pretty much the whole time. I don't know if it's bugged or what, but I could never tell when he was growing. Apart from at the very end, he got a little bit bigger. Even still, I thought he would be huge. So I don't know what's happening there anyway. Some of the other quests that you can do are rescuing the Diahorn Hatchling. So you'll have to go and find out where he is and kill some mobs to rescue him. You might have to lead him back home. Basically, you'll either be feeding him, playing with a toy, rescuing him or finding him and leading him home. That's pretty much the main rotation. Once you've got to a certain point in the daily quests, I think when the progress bar reaches full for the first time, you'll move on to the achievement progress quests. That'll just take a little bit of time, it's not major. The Torkali's Blessing one, you'll basically just be following Torkali around, jumping through portals, there's really no big deal, it doesn't take long at all. And then you'll go back to doing the daily quests, feeding, playing, rescuing, bringing him back home. It does feel like an endless cycle while you're doing it, but you will get there eventually. Don't lose hope. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And when you finally fill your progress bar for the second time, you will get the very final quest where you will have to ride the Diahorn Hatchling, although you'll be big enough to ride anyway. You'll have to use him to destroy all of the fences or whatever you want to call them. You just have to run around using your action buttons as you're riding him. And once you've reached 100%, head back and you will get the mount finally and congratulations you have a new mount yes so that's it two weeks easy done jobs are good in i hope you enjoy your new mount it looks just like all the mounts you can get from pandaria from the what you call them the zandalari war bringers is it i remember farming those for some time pretty cool Anyway, yeah, it's just a reskin of a really old mount still. Gotta catch them all. Warcraft mounts, yes. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.